everyone, it's Starlight Thurs, and I have a um, pretty large blush haul. Um, this does have, uh, I don't know if there's anything permanent in here. This is from two different chips. I have to put, I have to put it in my hair. This is really annoying me. Oh, I guess from the last time uh, I filmed, I had um, long, straight hair from like about here, but I actually just now leave it naturally as it is, which is um, pretty curly, pretty wavy. Um, so. And it's really, really long. It's really long. But um, it does kind of get on my nerves sometimes, so I need to put it up. And it was 78 degrees today where I live. So that's, it's really, really warm. Like, I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt, and the fan above me is on, because it's, it's pretty warm. So anyway, I will um, start with the, the Lush haul. Yay! I haven't done one of these in forever. Oh my gosh. Like, that's how I got started on YouTube as well. So I do actually have, you know, the blush website <laughs> pulled up because I don't know the names of everything, so I'm probably still going to screw it up. So if you see me looking down, that's why, because I'm trying to find the names. So I'll go ahead and start with um, one of my first trips over to Lush. This is obviously before they got the, like, all the Christmas stuff. So, sorry, it's my phone. My fiance is texting me. So the first bath bomb that I got was... This big green one that I have no idea what the name is. Um, I guess maybe I will look it up while I am talking about it, but oh, it smells so good. So, so good. Let's see if I can find the name. And I'm sure like all of you watching me are probably like, oh, I know the name, but <laughs> I don't yet. <laughs> Lord of Merce, Lord of Merce rule. So it says spicy herbal bath time celebrations. I don't know. It just it smells so good. <sighs> Haven't used it yet. Obviously, it's my first first and only one. So I'm excited to use that one soon. So I think that's all that I bought from. No wait, there's one more. I did also get the big blue which I really, really like because it's ginormous and it has the skin softening um, <sighs> seaweed in it. So I really just need to use a, I need to find a stocking though because the seaweed um, to me is, I mean, I don't mind it, but just the cleanup sometimes, I really don't feel like dealing with it late at night. So, and I think the other permanent item that I got is um, the tea tree toner tabs which I do still use these. I have kept using these for whenever my skin is just being a you-know-what. <laughs> these really, really do offer some really calming and skin clearing um, properties to it. You just drop it in a bowl of hot water and just put a towel over your face and just let it steam and it feels so good. I love these things. So that's something that I keep repurchasing from Lush and I have been using that for like three or four years. I love that. So, I think this is where we get in, yes, this is where we get into the Christmas stuff. So, let me pull up the page so I can make sure to get the names right. Of course, I'm probably not going to find it when I want, right? Bath lovers, here we go. I love how lush, even like the past couple years, since obviously I haven't been doing videos. I love how they keep the consistency though. With uh, their website is still pretty consistently the same. And um, the products too. And of course I can't find this one on the website. So anyway, I'll just talk about it. So this is a little snowman. He smells so good. If I could just find the name. Oh, the name is just snowman. <laughs> What a great guess. So this has um, vanilla and cocoa butter. It kind of reminds me of um, a bath bomb that I can't remember right now. Oh, but it's just, it smells so good. So I can't wait to use him. I'll probably use all of them too. Um, let's see. Oh, Butterball. That's what it reminds me of, Butterball. The next one that I got, oh my God, this, this guy is so cute. So cute. If I can find him on the, okay. Bum, bombardino I don't know but his face is so cute he just kind of reminds me of something of like a video game like I don't know he's just so cute 
like Pac-Man or something. But, oh, so good. It says lemon cheesecake fizzer. I don't know. It just, it just smells amazing. Oh, he's so cute. I almost don't want to use him, but I know I need to. I think I got two of him. I'm trying to remember what else is in here. I have quite a bit. I only got one of him. All right, the next stuff I definitely need to pull up on the website because they're brand new to me. And I believe brand new to Lush, too. Or I, okay, no, one of them actually has existed before, but they changed it, which I'm really glad that they did. But this is the Luxury Lush Pud, which is so huge. These used to be so small, and they made your like your water like a murky, like brown, yellowish color. So I'm so glad that it's purple now. Oh, and it just smells so good. Oh, my nose itches. So, and it says creamy lavender scent. And it, it is very, very lavender -y. It kind of reminds me of um, Bathos, Bathos, Bubble Bar, back in the day when they had it, which I used to love that one. Let's see. The next, oh, this is so cute. I love this one. But this is the little penguin Bubble Bar. Um, it is just the Christmas penguin. And he's supposed to smell of orange blossom. And he does. Oh, he's just so cute. I really wanted one of these. I'm so glad that I picked one up. So usually with the Christmas stuff, um, I try to get like maybe one of everything if I, well, except for like snow fairy scented stuff because I know that's popular, but I don't really care for it. But I usually try to get like one of all the new stuff so I can test it out and then, you know, make a determination if I want to buy any more, especially, you know, cross your fingers that they always have the uh, after Christmas sale. So the next thing that I got is Shoot for the Stars bath bomb. Which, of course, Starlight Plurs, I still love my stars. And this one just smells so good, too. But it's sweet caramel toffee. And it really does have a, a toffee smell to it. So, which I love toffee. Scented and flavored stuff. So, I really am excited to use this. Oh, and it just broke. Oh. Oh, well. Oh, darn. It looked like it was going to be one of those, like, really pretty pink ones. All right. So, I guess that I will use tonight. <laughs> So, I'll put that one back in its bag carefully, and I got bath bomb all over the carpet, and I just vacuumed. So, that's everything for my first trip. Now, my second trip was basically, um, my fiancé took me to Lush and just let me pick out a ton of stuff as part of a Christmas gift, so that was so exciting. So exciting. Um, so, this he actually picked out for me, but this is one of the, um, I think they're called bubble rooms, but... I think this is yuzu and coconut yuzu and co i don't know but it's the orange one that does smell kind of like coconutty but i really do like this really i love the smell of it so i think that's the only thing that was non-christmas so the next thing that i picked out was the i think this is still called the golden wonder yes golden wonder which i think this is maybe like the second or third year that they've had this but and hear the stuff inside of it, but I love, love this one. It's huge, but it's really cute. Ugh, it smells amazing, too. It says citrus scent, but it doesn't really come off. I mean, it does smell a little citrusy, but I can handle that because too much citrusy is just, I don't know, too much for me. Now, the next one is Secret Santa, which this is ginormous. Um, it was even difficult getting it inside the bag. So here it is, and um, you know it's like their first first shop, the first Lush shop. And I know this one has like a little mini Santa in it, which I'm really oh it's out of stock online. Ooh, I guess this is a really popular one. So let's read about it. it has lime oil. Ooh, that's why I like it. Mm. Yeah, it says drop the entire house into your tub or break in half for two baths. So, and I think it's supposed to be orange. Um, your water's supposed to turn orange. But I definitely will break this one up because it is ginormous. I do have a much larger tub now, which I, I love from the new house. We do have a huge tub. And it's not jetted, but neither was my old one. But the water pressure that comes out of the faucet is, like, insane. So it makes an insane amount of bubbles. So the last thing that I got from Lush was... A classic for me 
classic for a lot of people, but this is Christmas Eve Bubble Bar, which is still, to this day, my number one favorite Lush product. It just, oh, it smells so good. This is probably something that I, I know I will go back to the store to buy more because I, they're a lot, they seem a lot bigger this year, but they just smell so good. Love this one. That's what I used like two nights ago with one of my older um, Christmas Eves. So, but yeah, that is everything that I got from my Lush haul. So, I love doing Lush hauls. That's like the why I started YouTube. So, I'm really glad to be able to film up another one. So, um, I guess that's everything. There might be like a few more things that I want to pick up from Christmas and try out too. But a lot of the stuff I've already used, like cinders, I've used that before. Um, almost all the soaps I've also used. Um, my favorite one is actually uh, the Snow Cake Soap. I love that one. But the other ones I'm not crazy about. There was a, you know, the, the star thing, the Starlight Star Bright. Um, really cute, but oh my god, when you touch it, it's just a mess everywhere. So I'm not really like, I don't know. If it goes on sale, I might try that. But anyway, that is everything that I got from Lush. So I hope you enjoy the haul, and I'll see you next video.